Welcome to Politically Incorrect Pop Culture, where I like to bring you the news of the day. And we got some juicy stuff, so I'm your host, Cosmo James. Like, subscribe, and comment. And here we go. This came out yesterday. I wanted to put it in yesterday's news, but it was already pretty late and I got everything set up. So, so I just waited and I think I'm kind of happy I did because there's a lot more news coming out about this. So Elon Musk is now the largest shareholder of Twitter. I did not see this coming out of left field. Hmm. It's like, it's like Banjo-Kazooie being in Smash. Did not see that coming. Or uh, Steve from Minecraft. That was another left field. But yes, yes. Uh, Elon Musk has now 9.2% of shares of Twitter. Yeah. Well, apparently he did a, a poll not too long ago. I didn't know about it until I started reading more into this. Uh, on CNBC, we got some stuff. They're, they're going through the information. The same thing. He bought some shares. He has like uh, 28%. Uh, no, no, 28%. The shares have picked up 28%. So people are making money off of this. Yeah. Uh, this is the poll that he ran about a free speech on Twitter. And 70% 70, 70 said no. If I knew about this tweet, I would have voted no. And it would have probably been 0.5%. Eh, probably like 0. 0.0001 or something like that. But yeah, I would have voted I would have been one more to it. I didn't know about this at all. But uh, he ran this poll not too long ago, March 25th. And he made the purchase about, well, not about, yesterday, actually. But it seemed like he was already talking about it behind the scenes before he decided to do this poll. With that also said, I don't have it here, but it's people are saying that he's actually gone on the board. So he's making moves. I don't know what's going to happen, but this is going to be interesting. That's all I'm going to say. I did, like I said, I did not see this coming one bit. It could be good. Honestly, anything he does now would be good because Twitter is a hellhole. That's, that's the fact of it. So whatever he does now, would it's going to be interesting. That's all. All I'm saying is that he should bring back everyone that got unlawfully uh, uh, kicked from Twitter, that's for sure. And he should try to do some little changes, but I don't know how much of a change he'll make. But him buying this much, seems like he's interested in it. I don't know what he's going to do. Maybe it is a pump and dump, but there's, really, uh, really, uh, there's things against that. So we'll have to wait and see, but things are about to get interesting. All I'm going to say is, is this Twitter's redemption arc? Huh. This, this is, uh, 2022 is shaping up to be a very, very interesting year. Next, we have some interesting news. Some cool news, actually. This is good news. Uh, Return to Monkey Island is returning. Crazy. Uh, Return to Monkey Island announced coming 2022. I don't know if this is a remake of the original Monkey Island or this is a new story to it but this is pretty cool i've never played monkey island but i've seen enough about it so i know just of it i think it's the same people that worked on sam and max i played a little bit of sam and max it's cool and some of the original telltale games like the back to the future or um i don't know if tells of the borderlands was made by them but uh, oh uh uh, Grim Fandango, I think that's the other people. They used to, uh, if I remember right, Monkey Island was owned by Lucas, yeah, Lucas, 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 Lucas Films is right there, duh, it's right here, dummy, right, uh, but yeah, uh, Lucas Films still owns the IP and it seems like they're working on things, it's a good thing, I'm happy that Lucas Film, Lucas Film Games is actually doing more and more now. I was actually worried that they wouldn't be doing anything whatsoever with their games or IPs. But despite all the bad things of Disney doing lately and Lucasfilms, at least their gaming division is doing all right. I guess I guess we could look forward to that. At least there's some good things coming from it. But yeah, it's really cool. Uh, these are good games. They're on my bucket list. 
But if you like a point, a good point and click game, a point and click adventure game, that is, I say pick it up, pick pick uh, pick up the original one and try it out. Uh, you can find it most on most systems, I think, if I remember right. But I think it's for sure on uh, Steam. So if you're interested, check it out. I can't wait. This actually might be might force me or might get me to start playing the original ones. Next, we have some quite interesting thing. I saw this yesterday and I am most likely going to buy this and stream it. Yes, this is one spicy game if you haven't seen yet. Uh, it's coming from East Asian uh, Soft. We are proud to announce the official release for the booby. Yeah, you, you heard that right. Training RPG 7 uh, Pirates H, which will be making its debut on Nintendo Switch in North America, Europe, and Asia, May 12, 2022. You heard that, YouTube and other streaming websites? This is, this is, Nintendo's okay with this, okay? So, so don't flag me on this. This is, this is good. We're, we're okay. But yes, this is uh, some, this is some spicy stuff. Oh wow, this is really spicy. But yes, apparently you could massage their chesticles to make them smaller or bigger to make their speed go up or uh, their power go up. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Let's say let's just say that. Get me uh, all flustered here. But yes, uh, it looks fun. It actually came out a few years ago. Actually, around two, uh, I was looking it up, but. It came out around 2016 for the Switch and the Vita years ago on in Japan, but it's finally making its debut in English, America, I guess, North America and stuff. So I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to most likely stream it. So it should be fun. I just honestly, it doesn't look amazing, but it looks fun. I, I just want a good romp. That That's all I want. A good fun over the top stupid rpg or video game sometimes you just want junk food and this is junk food video game wise that is next we have some disney news more disney news that is apparently disney says anime is is a focus area claiming they will transmit them overseas just the way they are that's that's a little sus that's all i'm gonna say Honestly, it's good. I'm glad that they're not going to screw around with their anime division because they're going to start working on anime. I, I knew they're going to start doing it because the whole uh, that uh, Star Wars Visions, that's, that is, that was fully animated based. They're like, what ifs and over the top craziness. I still want to watch them and not think much of it. Just watch for fun because if you're going to go in it for the lore, don't. Because this is more like a what if or another. Think of it as the uh, Matrix. Oh, what was that anime? Oh, Animatrix. There you go. Different stories about different areas of the Star Wars universe told different ways. So, yeah. P some people like it. Some people hate it. I get it because it's different. But... Let's look at it. They, they've been doing other Marvel stuff in Japan too. So I'm not surprised that they're going to try to focus. They've also released a dead manga, sorry, Deadpool manga. A manga about Deadpool. It's actually pretty good. It's actually better than most. No, it is better than all comic books lately from Marvel. That is. That's how bad the comic book version or the comic book area of Marvel is doing that a manga version of Deadpool is better than all of it. It's coming out soon. I want to get it. I read a little bit of it. It's pretty fun. It's over the top. It's stupid. What can you expect from Deadpool? And just, you know, have fun with it. But yes, uh, uh they are claiming that they do not want to mess with the anim anime versions of what they're doing because they're going to start working more on anime. But I don't know. It is Disney we are talking about. But again, as much as I do not like Disney at the moment, every part of Disney is not run by one person. So the person that's probably running the anime division or the Japanese division is probably run by someone else that not, hopefully not up their own butt. Let's just hope with that. 
But uh, following, uh, let's let's read a little bit about it. Following a brief overview of Disney's Plus uh, operations, market share, and plan for the future, given by the exec- executive director of the original content, Ga- Gaku Norito, Naruto, head of animation Tokyo, uh, ta- not Tokyo, sorry, Taku Tu Yam Yawata. Ooh, these these names. I pretty could pronounce normal names, and you want me to pronounce Japanese names? Come on. Give me a break. <laughs> Took the stage to address the company's specific plans for explaining, uh, expanding their library of anime offerings. So, yes, uh, I think they were at the Japanese Expo that happened recently, and they were talking about it. Hey, I say why not? If it, some good will come from it, I'm all for it. I'm just hoping for some good. Look, we can't stop it from happening. It sucks what's happening right now with certain things, with IPs and stuff. But if we could get some good things from it, I'm all for it. I want to have some hope. I don't want to be black-pilled. So, I won't hold my breath, but hope for the best. Prepare for the worst. Now, let's end this uh, video. Well, this da- uh, daily news with some good news, actually. Actually, I was going to make a joke. I was going to actually finally make that joke that I was going to use for the um, what, Oscars. Okay, here it goes. So the Grammys was uh, on Sunday. Okay, moving on. Yep, that was the joke. It's not very good. It's already kind of... It's not worth using anymore because it's kind of outdated. But anyways... uh. Y- on the other side of it, uh, it's Grammys is stupid. I don't really care for awards, but this is pretty cool. Apparently, the Grammys actually gave an award to a video game music, a uh, a uh, cover by the 8-Bit Big Band, and it was Kirby. It was actually uh, Midnight's Revenge. It was a um, cover of that version. I have heard it. It's pretty good, actually. So, tell you what, I'll leave it in the description so you guys could take a listen to it because it's pretty good. And they do good work. I've been listening to some of their music now. But congrats to them. Uh, I don't think these awards mean much, but hey, a win's a win, as they say. And it's pretty cool to see Kirby take a win. And also the big eight, ba- uh, sorry, the eight big, oh my God, I'm going to get this right. The eight bit big band band. Uh, congrats to the win, and let's go, Kirby. Well, that's it for the news for the day. Until next time, see ya.